<laughs> yep, it's um, it still says that, but we'll just have to go on without our business. Good um, morning. Good morning. We're back. I'm Mary. I'm Linda. Welcome to Pinky Mo Sisters in the Kitchen. And we'll give it a second here, Mary, yeah. and see. Um, I'm going to get me some of these paper towels over here. I'm going to empty my, change my rolls. So I'll just put the little, yeah. little ones over here. Yeah. So um, we love tacos. I do too. It doesn't I'm, matter what day it is. We love tacos. Right. We fix them all kinds of ways. We fix taco salads. We fix um, um, just regular tacos. Um, sometimes we'll do them with chips. Sometimes we'll do them with shells. And you know they even have flour tortilla taco she shells. Was telling me about that. And the little I, boats. And we'll show y'all those in a little bit. But um, um, what was I going to say? We don't we don't do tacos with the flour with a soft taco. We like crunchy I, tacos. Me too. Me too. But you know, Braden, uh, my grandson, he likes the soft. Yeah, he, he likes the soft. And I love flour tortillas and yeah. heated with you know butter and cinnamon <laughs> and stuff like that on them yeah but i but again i'm a texture person yeah i am too and i love a crunch I do so too. um you know it's hard to it's hard for old habits to die i don't feel like i've eaten something if i can't have a crunch to, yeah to, I, to I think that's why i've never been a pudding fan i love banana pudding yeah. as long as it's got lots of vanilla wafers in it but i don't like I don't like the texture of just something soft. Yeah. I guess when we get all right, we don't exactly. have any teeth, we can do that. <laughs> <laughs> Brandon's like that. He, he don't care for pudding. He doesn't. Uh, he likes cake, but he don't like pudding. I like pineapple pudding. Mama used to make that. Uh, yes, she, yes, she did. So I'm I'm getting totally off on subjects <laughs> here, but um, so first of all, we have a thank you to do um, for Sheila Benson. Uh, she sent us both, and we just have one amount. Mine's over here. She sent us a Norwex dish cloth to wash dishes with. It is nice. Um, Norwex is it, nice. Yes, it's very, very nice. I only have a couple of things with Norwex. Is it, is it Norwex or Norwex? Nor I'm not sure how it's pronounced. Uh, Norwex. Definitely. Norwex. Yeah. Okay. But thank you so much, yes. uh, Sheila. We'll be using these in our kitchen, and we really appreciate that. Um, and um, I love their dust. Du Dust mitt. I don't have one. And I, the fan, uh, fan, the thing that cleans your ceiling fans, it's nice. You know how dust usually yeah. lies everywhere? I, it's, have the, I only have a couple items. Uh, this one is one of them. I got the, the head wrap. So when I wash yeah, my oh, hair. That's what you do. I don't have and, that. And um, so I'm sitting on the couch in the, in the winter, I'm sitting on the couch. I want my head covered up if it's wet. And in the summer, we have fans going, and I'll usually put it on there. And it, it absorbs the. Yeah. the um, the moisture yeah, sure. in your hair, and, and I mean, not that it takes a long time for my hair to dry, but it's nice because you don't, you're not, your head, your wet head is not touching the back yeah, of the cat. Yeah, yeah. So I really like that. Okay, so um, we are thank every one of you for following us yes. and for b bearing with us yesterday and being patient. So uh, we um, we're excited today. We got I've got clothes on. I've had them on the bed for. I'm taking them off the bed, put them on the bed, taking them off the bed, <laughs> put them off the bed for our trip. For, um, I'm and so now my there. dresser is covered with clothes, trying to figure out what we're going to wear. And Mary and I went shopping for a few minutes yesterday and uh, got a couple of uh, Mark Dell items, actually, yeah, at yeah, Miller's, yeah. which I love Mark Dell I do too. Items. I do too. My problem with that is if I see something that I want, because Normally they buy one in my size. Yeah. If you don't get it before it goes on sale, when you go back, most of the time it's gone. Yeah, that's true. But we got lucky. I'm yesterday. going back. I'm going back today and get Carl that blue blouse. Are you? I asked her. I said, "Would you wear that blue blouse?" And like you got uh -huh, like the one I got. And she said she would. So I'm getting her one today. Um, I didn't know if she would want to wear something. Because you got one just yeah, like it. Yeah, I got one just like it. I didn't know if she would wear it, but she said she would. So I'm going to go get her one today. So Carla's behind the scene. Hi, yeah. Carla. Hi, Carla. Little, Little Linda, Linda and Brayden are at Universal Studios. Yes, yeah, she said that they were running, walking everywhere, and that she was very tired already. <laughs> She's going to need a vacation after uh -huh. she goes back. She had planned this before we yeah. even knew that we were going to Puerto Rico right. next week. So 
Um, she she plans her trips in far yeah, in advance. Matter of fact, she's got a cruise book for September. Oh my goodness, are you serious? Where I'm she serious. going? Uh, Jamaica. Oh, she's <laughs> going to Jamaica. <laughs> well, she's going to have fun. Her and her friend uh, that, her, oh, her, that she grew her up childhood with. Friend, her April. childhood friend, April. Hi, she April. Grew up, and I'd like to uh, do a shout out to April's mother, Rita. Okay. Uh, we lived, we were neighbors with her when when the, when the when her dog exactly. and Linda was was a, a baby, and she texted me a, a text the other day, and it was it was really sweet, and um, so she was needing something that she needed me to pray about, and so uh, I'll be glad to. But she it just you know we still connect. And yeah. It's been years years ago. I remember when they were little kids. Yeah, that, that they, they was were always together. Unacceptable. I tell you, they would cry if they couldn't go over each other one of their houses every day. But we had to separate them sometimes because they were <laughs> <laughs> they were they were both opinionated. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They were. Okay, so um, y'all, well, you can't see, but I've got the air fryer out for all of y'all who always are saying, "Why don't you use the air fryer?" Um, um, I got um, some pineapple in our leak-proof um, glass. I love dish. those glass containers. And I, um, I, I hope they can see that. I can't see it because yeah. of that thing. Yeah. But I Thank did um, cut my pineapple and took the core out. And don't it smell good? Mm -hmm. And um, we're gonna. I guess we're gonna start the meat first. Okay. okay. And um, get it started. I don't know. We're going to have to be moving around. There just ain't no way, two ways about this. We have people tell us all the time we make them, well, not all the time, but we make them dizzy. I've never known a cook that can stand still. Do you? No, not me anyway. We don't have somebody handing us something, so we got to move to get it. I'll move the camera. You, we're going over there to make, do the meat first? Yes. Okay. So y'all follow us over here to the stove. I'm going to wash my hands and... Before I get started over there, and I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna try not move the camera other than that, just turning it around so that uh, you got your ski skillet hot heating up. Yeah, turn it, it turn it up just a minute if you don't mind, Mary. That camera drives me crazy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, I'm gonna use. Um, 96.4 hamburger, but don't worry, we're going to have some fat in it because I'm going to put a little chorizo in it. Is that how you say that? I don't know, Linda. Um, anyway, it's beef. I know what it is. And if y'all have never seen that, you can get it in another package too, but this is like a, a Mexican sauce, right? Yeah, it yeah, is. Yes. I got butter on that, so. You forgot your dryer was going. Yeah, Mike has a tendency to, he washes clothes about five times a week. Yeah. And, uh, what he's doing now, he's washing all the blankets outside from the cat, from the cat's house. But you'll see this is, um, this is real rich and I'm not going to use a whole lot of it. But I'm going to put a little bit in here and I'll put the rest of this in the freezer. I'm going to, uh, get, uh, get that uh, Yeah, would you get some, uh, freezer wrap, wrap under there? Okay. The, the freezer wrap and just wrap it and stick it in the refrigerator and then okay. I'll put it in the freezer in a little bit. I mean, you, do my, you do freezer out first? Yeah, it's there on top. That that one, the blue one. And the freezer out for ready. Yeah. Ooh, my skillet was hot. Y'all had to go high this so you turn it up. Yeah, I did. <laughs> I'll probably turn it up too high. I just wanted to make sure if there was any excess fat in there to so I could get it out of the text house while it's in the water in it. Do you want this in this freezer, Linda? Yeah, you can just stick it in there. Thank you, Mary. Uh -huh. Ooh, that went crazy on me. What? Got too water and everywhere. Uh, well, here, I'm going to move this camera. I was going to try not do it, but I'm going to have to for them to see what you're doing. I'm going to just turn this down, and then I'm going to add I'm gonna have a little bit of this uh, excess grease out of there. Because Mike will have a fit. <laughs> a lot of grease in it. It's hard to see. Yeah, I guess you can see what you're doing. 
Now y'all may think I'm taking all the flavor out. I probably am taking some of it out. But this is going to be our supper too, and I don't know why I did it. Okay, so now we're going to put our hamburger in it. Well, that, uh, well, that things on there, I can't tell, but I, I think they can see what you're doing. And uh, my hands are clean. I'm going to wash them again when I get through with this. But uh, here, if I'm going to wash them. What you want me to do? It's just kind of up. mix this together and okay. just get a mix of chopping. I'm going to wash my hands and make this meat off of here. And once it gets chopped up a little bit, we'll add salt and pepper. Uh, and we'll add you are cooking a lot of meat. Well, I know, but um, Chuck likes tacos, don't he? Yeah, I know, but I, you didn't have to fix the left of him. Well, I ain't going to fix the left of him. Okay. I know how these days are when you go back and forth. It's a whole day's job. Well, it was cool here this morning. It was in the forties. Well, I didn't, I didn't stick my head out the door, but you know, to me, it felt good. Yeah, even even if I had a one out there, it felt good. So, um, I guess we can probably put some seasoning in it now since I started to cook. I probably will get that other in there. Thank you, Mary. You're welcome. So, uh, I'm going to tell you something funny, Mary. Uh, the that? other day when I was doing my live um, video on yeah. Pepper Chef, uh -huh. this is taco seasoning. I'm going to put uh, about a half a teaspoon in it. Maybe a little over a half because it's quite a bit of meat. Um, we like seasonings. We just don't like them overpowering what we're doing. So, um, in case y'all ever wonder why... This is cayenne, and I'm going to put a few crushed red peppers in here, and then some salt and pepper. Now, I said that, and y'all will probably say, call me a hypocrite, because y'all know what kind of seasonings I like. I like salt and pepper, and I like uh, hot pepper. So, I'm going to put, I usually do half the... Uh, Half pepper to salt. Yeah. Is that what you usually do, Mary? Um, yes. Uh, now you did tell them if they um, said where they're from, and sh and share and the that video. They share this video, right? That, that we're doing right where now. you're from, and share the video that we're doing now. You'll be in a drawing at the end of the video to run a bottle of uh, Corinne J cinnamon, cinnamon, pepper chef cinnamon. That is a good stuff. Yes, it is. If you've never used it, that's what chefs use in restaurants. And it's pamper chef, and it's only available in the fall. And if you don't get it then, you don't get it till the next year. And we've had people, the, just the other day, somebody told me they hadn't used theirs, and they couldn't believe how good it was when they opened it. So since we're using it today, I just thought it would be sure. something nice yeah, to give away. And it's sure going to be taste good on that pineapple. So um, we're just going to kind of let this cook for... Um, uh, a few minutes here and stir it every once in a while. So I was doing a live video on my other page, on my Pampered Chef page, and uh, this woman asked me, uh, she asked, in the comment, she asked how old I was. You know what she said? What she said? Turn the video so they can see you. Okay. <laughs> she said, you look 80. Oh! And y'all, I am what I am. I, I'm I have scars all over my face from where I've had skin cancers removed, um, and I'm, I don't make any apology for it, and I'm still here, so that's good. But you know what I wanted to tell her so bad, Mary? I was good, her? I was good, and I didn't, but I wanted to say, thank you so much. I'll be 90 next month. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised you didn't say it. I, I really had to cut my... Y'all don't know, but me and Edward used to cut up all the time. Uh, yeah, but uh, I wanted so bad to say that. And then the other thing I was going to say, if I'm 80, I sure am doing good to do the work that I do. I am not the truth. <laughs> it's hard were, enough for us in our 70s. I left at 7.30 yesterday, and what time did I get home? At 4 o'clock? Something like that. That's what it is. And that's about day. what time Mary will be yeah. at home today. Yeah. Because 
we're not just doing what y'all see us do. We're getting the stuff ready. Then we've got cleanup. Then we have to, we have things that we have to discuss. Yeah, we have to do. Right. And it's just, it's an all day thing. Yeah. And we love doing it. We're not complaining. But uh, <laughs> I just, I thought that was the way That was funny. I'm surprised, Linda, you didn't tell me. <laughs> if little Linda would have been here and asked me on, I would have. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Two of a kind. <laughs> But you do have a birthday coming up. I do. I do. And you know something, when you're young, all you can think about is being grown and what your life's going to be a lot and what your life's going to be like. And then 50 years passes and you go back through each decade. Do you do that? Yes. yes and yeah, I was here I'm in this decade. I was there in this. I was doing this in this decade. And it just seems impossible our brother's birthday is tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Happy birthday, Charles. Yes, yes. He will be 77. 77? I'm 75, 76. He'll be 77. 77. Yeah. So a big shout out to our oldest brother, Charles. Happy birthday. It's also Bonnie's birthday. Yes. His granddaughter. Happy yes. birthday to Bonnie. Um, Sarah Minton. Um, Sarah Lee Minton, our cousin. It's her birthday. It's a lot of birthdays. And Charity's is either the day before or the day after. Another one of Charles and right. Linnell's granddaughters. Right. And I don't even know who all else has a birthday, but we have several birthdays right around the same time. So, um, anyway. Um, I, uh, I told you happy birthday when I was up there a few weeks ago. Did you? Yeah, because I told you that I would be back. And so... For his birthday, whenever my, my husband and I, we were planning our wedding, uh, and we had decided to get married in April, uh, that was kind of what I wanted to do, was to be married on Charles's birthday, but my husband, Bobby, his dad's birthday was the, April the 21st, so it, it would mean a lot to Bobby and his dad for us to be married on his birthday, so that's what we done. We got married April the 21st. April the 21st, yeah. and yeah. I didn't even mention oh, this last okay. week. Um, a lot of times we're like that. We're aware of the day it is, mm -hmm. but we might not discuss it on that day yeah. because it'll make you sad. Right, right. Um, I thought about it. I knew it, but, but I, I didn't, didn't think about it. I didn't want to talk about it. We, we would have been married 55 years. 55 years. Yeah. Um, so, um, we are going to, I'm going to turn the air fryer on and, um, probably run back and forth over here to check the meat so we can get so this pineapple started. Pineapple. Okay. And, right. um, okay. so I'll turn it on and, um. So I'll good. just move the camera back over here to the, uh, yeah. to the microwave, I mean to the, um, air fryer. Air fryer. Try to get that air fryer in there. Um, let's see, I'm going to, um. Uh, Look, I'll go ahead. Uh, she melted some butter. Uh, this is what, about four tablespoons? Yes, yeah, about four, four tablespoons. And then I'm going to add some uh, honey. And I'm not going to measure it. But what, about uh, two tablespoons? Just guesstimate. You may need more than that. We, we don't want it. Pineapple is naturally sweet anyhow, but we want a little bit of the honey flavor in it. And that's going to help caramelize it. Right. Um, I got the whisk out. I'll use this. Um, I'll just soak it. Sorry about that. So, I'll and a little bit of salt. Yeah, just a dash of salt. I always put salt on fresh fruit. Get it open here. I guess I'll just screw it. Do I, do I need to do it for you, Mary? No, I got it. Okay. Just put a little pinch of um, uh, kosher salt. And then how much cinnamon, Linda, do you think you um, might put? I think probably a couple of good shakes in it. Okay. I don't want the cinnamon to overpower the pineapple. Okay. Yeah, that's probably good. All right, then I'm just going to mix it up. And we're just, we're going to just um, put this uh, base, the pineapple with this. A honey and cinnamon and a kosher salt. Is this what is this what's what we yeah. do? And these are the trays and I lightly brush these with oil and I'm gonna use two. 
And um, I think we'll, we'll brush both sides, Mary. Okay. And I'm going to turn, I don't think they can see this with me turning, but um, I hate to move this. To move. Maybe go ahead and do that and then we'll slide the camera over just a okay. pinch. Okay. I'm going to do two trays okay. because um, I'm going to cook two at a time. Okay. Yeah, put it on that one. I'm going to put something under that. Okay. Don't you just love those leak-proof? Uh, I love these bows, yeah. So I just um, peeled the pineapple and cored it. I cored it with the, the small biscuit cutter. Okay, okay. Um, and it's what probably else? a little bit bigger than yeah. the core was, but I don't like any hard parts of pineapple. Um, so... Um, I wanted to make sure that I got it all out. So, I've never done this before, Linda. Well, I had neither the first time, so we're in. just gonna. I think it'll be delicious. I, I love, love grilled pineapple. pineapple, so I know it'll be good. Do you know how to pick a fresh pineapple, a good pineapple, Mary? Well, I always thought they they need to be dark brown. That's all I know. So, They're not um, green. Um, the more yellow, and now, now yeah. we're going. We have people. Uh, we have some friends from Hawaii that follow us, and uh, probably a lot of people from California, Florida too, that um, um, will probably even no. give some more right. hints about this. Right. But um, it needs to have a lot of yellow on it. Don't yeah. pick out the dark, the ones that are green because those aren't good yeah. and right. That's all I And you about. need to be. First of all, smell, obviously. It needs to smell like pineapple. Yeah. And then pick a leaf off of it. And if it comes off easy, then that's a good sign. Right, right, right. If you can't pull that leaf off, um, I don't know if they're called leaves or what they're called. Them, them pointy things that'll oh. stick in your fingers. Oh, I wonder what you're uh, talking about. <laughs> then, um, um, then don't get that one. Okay. I was getting this one yesterday, and, and woman asked me. She said, "How do you know which one to pick?" And I said, "Well, we don't have a lot of choices because they didn't have very many there. Yeah. But you want to find one that's as yellow as it can be, and that has a good smell, and then try the leaf on it. That's all. So, uh, that's the only way I need to tell." Okay, so um, I'm going to. Um, this was a whole pineapple lemon? Yes, that was, and it wasn't a, you know, Sam's has huge ones. I yeah. got this one at Walmart, so okay. it wasn't real big. Okay. And I don't, like I said, I don't like the hard part, so I did um, cut off a good bit on both ends. Yeah. We might be able to get one more on this side. Okay, here. yeah, that's what I was thinking. That's so we can do them all in one yeah. cooking. Right amount of the uh, blaze. Was it? Okay. Okay. Yeah, I love pineapple. Any way you fix it. Pineapple pies, cupcakes. I we cakes. love pineapple. Yeah, Absolutely love it. You have to work fast with this melted butter because it, uh, I could have uh, warmed it up again for you, Mary, okay. if you need it because it gets uh, stale, gets thick. There we go. So I will, we won't leave the tongs out, but okay. I'll take this out and, and put All this right. up. Okay, so um, if you will, we got two we can turn that camera just a little bit to where okay. it'll show. I don't know if you can do it any better. Yeah. You probably can do it better than me. Okay, I'll turn it. Okay, so. Now this is a Pampered Chef air fryer, and, and other brands may work different, but this is a dial turn, so we're going to turn it to bake, and it's set for 15 minutes, and I don't want it to set for 15 minutes, so we're going to... Let me make to, sure I... Uh, yeah, we got it. Okay. I'm going to turn it... Whoops. Okay, now, see, I've got it blinking, so now I can adjust the time. 
I'm going to turn it to 12 minutes. And then you touch it again, but I wanted it to cook at 380. So why didn't I get to... Okay, I'm going to stop this. Is 350, how's it go? No, we will go higher than that. You know, I've never used my drop my my air fryer. Well, I say I've got it. Maybe 350 is high though. Okay, we'll we'll do it at 350. I was don't cook it higher than that. But um, and I've used this lots of times, so it's not like I've never used it. But I'm gonna put both of the trays in here. I'm going to start it, and we're going to turn it at, uh, at half, half time. When it gets six minutes, we'll turn it. Okay. I've got the oven on. and uh, All right, so now you're going back to the meat? Uh, yeah, bring it back over here, and I'll show you the meat, and I'm going to show you the shells. So um, I've got three different kinds of shells here. Um, I've got the, the regular corn uh, shells. I've got the little boats. These are really cute. If you wanted, Back up a little bit so they can see. Okay. If you wanted to fix a, like a little um, buffet type thing, you could have different kinds of shells. And then this is a flour tortilla shell. So um, that's kind of different. And I've got the oven on 375, and I'm just going to heat these just briefly. So I'm going to stick these in here, and I'm going to set the timer on about probably about five or six minutes. And then okay. I'm going to get some cheese out of the refrigerator to... Um, but your meat's done. Yeah. I'm going to set another timer for that. Okay. Um, I'll tell you, uh, having that, having that scrape, having that uh, little, uh, what do you call it? That little script across the middle of the page that we can't see what we're doing. <laughs> um Smells delicious, Linda. It does smell good. I'm gonna get some cheese to put in. Then we're okay. gonna put the lid on it. Okay. So you melt your cheese in here? I melt a little bit. Do you? Okay. Well, um, I've got a another list. Uh, like I was telling somebody the other day, if I don't buy a list of what I have to do that day, I don't I always forget something. So I have another list of things that I have to do today. Most of the time this whole week, uh, I've been able to accomplish just about everything I've had on my list. And when I drive down in the mornings, I um, I didn't think I'd get it all done. But I, I so far this week, I've been able to accomplish what I had to do every day. So what you need, hand me that box so that I'm going to show them what I put okay. in here. This is the store brand. It's Kroger's um, Queso Blanca. You used some of that yeah, yesterday, I did, didn't I did. you? It's just got a little bit of extra taste pepper. to it, like it's got peppers in it. Yeah. And we always just put a little bit in, in our taco meat, and then I'm going to put the lid on it and let it uh, melt. And you can use this, you could use Velveeta, you could use, um, um, you don't want to use this, you don't have to use this, this is just the way we like it. Well, it makes it creamy. It does, it makes yeah. it real creamy. And I'm going to turn it on low and I'm going to put the lid on it. Okay. And I think we're done with all of this. I'll get this out of the way. Yeah, I miss Linda, little Linda. <laughs> I'm trying to man the camera and, and talk to you. We're going to go back and sit now, Linda? Uh, yes, yes, we can go back over there because we're going to be checking that pineapple in okay. a little bit. So now... We're going to go back over here to the, it's, uh, you say in ten, uh, in half the time, so when it gets down to six, we're going to stop it, and, and we're going to turn it over. Turn it over. You don't have to stop it, just open the door. Oh, is that all you have to do, is just open the door? Okay, all right. Uh, Um, I should show them my ice cream. Oh, yeah. Oh, Linda sent me a picture the other day. Watch that cord, Linda, on top. Um, uh, Linda sent me a picture the other day. She had made some orange sherbet. I think you put pineapple in it, too, didn't you, Linda? I did. I did. Now, this is frozen, and I'm not going to take a 
I'm not camera the lids out and show you, but this is how I do mine. Our ice cream maker, only, it makes a quart. So what I do is I make it and then I freeze it in these little cups. Yeah. And I actually cut half cups. You can't get them anymore. You know, everybody always know. wishes they'd have bought something when they can get it. I this know. is the cup. Uh, and then this goes with the uh, prep bowl set. Right. But then when I get ready to use it on something, I want to try. I want to taste it today. You want you want me to throw it out and let you taste it now? Yeah. Okay. I like I like that small one. I want to taste it after a while, or at least before I leave. So I love pineapple sherbet, orange sherbet, pineapple. Uh, so I this just like chips. this sure. um, this is on here tight. I just want to lend up. If you got some, this is kind of high. I'm trying to see if I got one. You know, I just call it. I think this. I think this is the smallest one. So, so um, just a little trick, FYI. If you have these silicone bowls, um, it it's going to be frozen right now, and it's hard to get the lid off. And I don't have as much strength in my hands as I used to. I'm sure somebody could get it off. But the easiest way to do it is stick it in the microwave for 20 seconds. I'm going to show you. I was going to say, I run uh, hot water over because it, it just look, it loosen. It might not thaw the whole cup out, though. Is that what it is? But you I don't know want you it to thaw it out. You yeah, just I know. want it to the consistency that you can. Uh, I, I think, think this may be getting ready, Linda. Is that, I, I can't see. Two more time. minutes. Oh, okay. I might just to try these. I'm going to have to. I've got my eye fryer. I just never have used it because. The biggest reason I haven't used it is I don't have counter space to put it. Yeah, I keep mine on the refrigerator. And, um, oh, I thought that's the wrong one. This is cherry vanilla. That's okay. Uh, I, did, I didn't get it thawed out. I'll do another one. Um, well, I think this That's okay. I didn't thaw it. No, I want you to taste it. I do. But I would like to taste it. I'm going to make me some. My freezer, I've got, I got to cook some more meat out of the freezer and have room to put my container, my freezer maker, my ice cream maker. Um, because uh, I don't eat with just a few spoons full at a time, but it uh, it kind of uh, takes away that when you're craving something sweet, if you just get a, just eat a, a spoonful or two, that'll stop your craving. Here are taco shells and they're, uh, good they're good. Got real crispy and they're hot, so I'm I, I did these for five minutes in a 375 degree okay. oven. Okay. All right. All right. So this fresh. All right. It's is hit six minutes, Linda. Okay. You, just you hear it? Did you hear it beeping? Yeah. Why did it beep? It beeps at half. At oh, half time. Okay. okay. So then we're gonna take it out and we're gonna turn them. I guess you're gonna take it out. Yeah. You. Um, I'll take it out and then. I, I was thinking that they were going to have to cook more than, yeah. uh, more than okay. 15 minutes. Let's turn that camera around if you would, Linda. Oh, that's my other timer. <laughs> I've got, 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 got the buzzers place. beeping all over the place. Yeah, we'll probably have to do this uh, a little more, Linda. Okay, so we're okay. going to put them back in there. Put them back in there again. Yeah, can get that other one out. I don't think it. I, they look really good. They sure do. Now this one's getting a little more caramel on the top. And you know what? I may need to stick back with it. Thank you. <laughs> I may turn a boss and lend a After I the cook these on, oh, no, that's okay. I was bossing you earlier. After I cook these another five minutes, I may turn it on the air fryer mode. Okay. Because I know that'll get some caramelization on it. Well, you I see that pineapple's right I because know. it's it, 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 uh, broken too. Okay. All right. All right. Put it back in there, please. Y'all, we're, we're experimenting. This is the first time, not the first time we've used this, but uh, the first time that I've done pineapple. Yeah. Well, it's so, um, sure looking good. Okay, so what have we got over here? Mm -hmm. I'm just going to stir the meat so that cheese. Are off. you going to fill the, um, the tacos over there, the, our shells? Probably, I can bring the camera over there. Probably more. we'll fill them over here. Okay. Um, or you gonna be filling them the, uh, first before I'm we go to, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put me in them. Out. <laughs> here. Um, I'm gonna put that meat's gonna be salt in it. That's a lot of meat. Okay, and we 
don't want any juice in the taco shell, so we'll use a slotted spoon to fill them with. Y'all don't mind my drawers. I have everything the way I want, and Mike does the dishes, and he doesn't put them back the way I want. <laughs> I'm not complaining. He does the dishes, so I can live with that. That's whatever. right. That's right. <laughs> okay, so I, I think these little shells are the little boats. These are little boats. Have y'all ever seen any little boats? I haven't seen any little boat shells. Did you get those at uh, Kroger's or where? I've got them. I've got Well, y'all heard me say that tree down there at the end of my property. Um, it's um, my son who started uh, chain, using the chainsaw to cut the trees up, and he has a bad back. So he worked for about two hours, and he got down in his back. So now I've got to hire a professional to remove all that stuff. So, okay. I've been checking on that. Yeah, okay, it's, what is it, Linda? What you want to do? It's here? terrible when you have back problems. So... You can see now I can push that and it pops right off. Okay. Taste and it. it's a real good consistency. So just and exactly. you said 20 seconds? Yeah, two, about 20, 22 seconds. Well, I knew it would be. Is it good? Mm -hmm. That is so good. That is delicious. You gotta give me the recipe for this. And it's and it's very easy way to have something ready when mm -hmm. you want some ice cream make it ahead of time keep your bowl yeah. in the freezer um if you want to freeze it in the bowl you can but i don't like to freeze it in the bowl because then you can't put that bowl yeah. in the microwave right. Right. these you can't yeah i love this idea Linda. and it's um, delicious and it's a good serving mm -hmm. these are cups and they're not filled quite full so yeah, you've got this, about a three four six this would be serving. Two, at least two servings for me or more the little half cup yeah. ones, um, which are for the kiddos, which I bought. Did you buy some before I got, they that's sold them out? The I bought several sets of them. Yeah, right. Now this is delicious. And they're perfect for a small serving or yeah. for a kid serving. They're perfect for that. So uh, if y'all can see the meat, um, I got the cheese um, melted and kind of stirred in. Now it does have a little bit of liquid in it, so when we fill the taco shells, we're going to just make sure we don't get liquid in the taco shells because you want your taco shells to stay crunchy. And uh, I guess I can get the platter over here with the taco okay. holders in okay. it. I'll get for you. Um, and then I can move some of this stuff. We did terrible at walking away from the camera, y'all. I'm so sorry, but it's just okay. Mary walks away and I walk away. <laughs> so I'm sorry about that. Um, okay. Here's the platter. Okay. It's just got these little taco shells. Look at those cute. Hobby Lobby. I did. I've seen it at Hobby Lobby. Those are cute. And we're going to use the little picks for the pineapple. Okay. All right. So, um, are you going to put the shell in here first or are you going to put the meat in there first? Probably and then put here. the meat in there first and then put it okay. in there. Um, uh, how many are you going to eat? Oh, I'm going to eat one. Okay. Well, I was going to fix up the whole platter, but if we're not going to eat but one each, yeah. then we'll just need to do two. Okay. We'll just okay. do two. Okay. Okay. Right, so, so our pineapple is ended. So I'm going to get back over here, and I'm going to turn it on air frying. We're going to have to watch it closely on it because it will get... Um, Mike is not a camera person, y'all. He doesn't like to be on the camera. He does exist. Some of y'all have seen glimpses of him, but um, he just does not like the camera, and so I respect that. Okay. All right. Let's get it back over here. Okay. So, I'm not, um, let's see, do I want to turn this? The top might be, it's getting a little bit hotter than the bottom. So I'll turn these. I want a good caramelization on them, so I'm fixing to bump this up to air fryer mode. I'm wondering if I put these on top. Okay. And put these on bottom. Change it up a little bit. Yeah. Now, if y'all notice, I've got a little tray down there to catch all of this stuff. So I'm going to turn my dial to air fry. Wait a minute. Oops. Air fry. 
and then I'm going to adjust my minutes. I'm going to adjust my minutes to, I think, 10. And I'm going to start. And it'll beep when it gets halfway through and we can okay. turn it. Okay. So we don't want to put the meat in the taco shells until we, let me get this out of the way. Um, do you see any questions or can you read any I'll, questions? I'll there? see, but you know, it's hard for me to, to see the questions or see if there is any. Um, so, um, Tiff John said that, um, she said that she had, she likes those boat shells. Um, yeah, they're really cute. Said Walmart has some, somebody, is that where you got them? It might have been, and you can get the hats too for the salads. You can get those. Yeah. And you can actually get them to make, right? To put them in a container to make. Or, yes, um, yes, you can. Mine already made. Uh, Marilyn, we got our tops at Dillard yesterday. Um, uh, and um, I'm seeing a lot of sharing, so thank y'all for sharing. And Kathy, how? Yes, yeah, you can have lunch with us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we would love that, but you this seen didn't stop that. Um, I'm sorry, Mary, I interrupted you. Go ahead. You haven't seen any messages on there from Kathy LePage, have you? You know if she's watching? I don't know, Linda. I hadn't, I, I hadn't seen you. Hi, Kathy, if you're watching. Yeah. Thank you, Sarah. We plan on enjoying our vacation. At least we're going to sure try to. And that air fryer is a pampered shelf air fryer. You can order it to, uh, through either one of our sites. Linda has a site, uh, Pepper Chef, with Linda Dalton, and I have a, a site with uh, Mary Pepper Chef with Mary Lumen Comma Consultant. And uh, our brand name of our tops is, what are these, Linda Allison? Are these Allison? I think they're Allison Daly. I think they're Allison Daly. Do you want to... <laughs> You want to tell what you yeah. did earlier? Yeah. Do what? You want to tell what you did earlier? Oh, I got here this morning and I raised my hands, I, um, raised my arms and uh, like this, just did like this, and my tag was still hanging off of my shirt. <laughs> I said, oh my Lord, I'm sure glad I didn't go on camera with the tag hanging. That was funny. Uh, I was pulling a mini pearl on yeah, me. Yeah, I, uh, I didn't... Uh, uh, I forgot to cut it off yesterday when I went home with it. We got these, we actually got these blouses on um, clearance. Yeah, we did. We, we got, got a good price. It was about what, Linda? I think you can see them all. We got lucky. Yeah, we got these tops at a good price yesterday. We don't normally do that. Um, yeah, they seemed like they had more on clearance, so maybe we just caught them at the right time. Yeah, it could have been. Um, I've got more of these little tongs, but I can't find them. So, so we got a lot of people. And uh, Terry Stucky wants us to put that ice cream recipe on the on our members page. Okay, we can we can do that. But it will be next week. Yeah, uh, maybe maybe. Well, it may be. Uh, we don't know how we'll, to do the recipe. We'll, we'll, we can uh, send it to Little Linda, but Little Linda's Little Linda, Linda has to put it on there for us. I'm gonna check this just to be sure. Ooh, it's looking good. Yep, yeah, it's looking good. We're gonna, we're gonna get a caramelization on it. Okay. So uh, we're gonna put that on the same platter with these, right, Mary? Um, yes, that would be fine. Yes. We'll just do three tacos on here, and I'll get some little sticks out to put the pineapple on. We don't always dress a lot, no. Um, Going to car, going to uh, Puerto Rico. We was trying to pick out what we was gonna wear, and we're not wearing, we're not wearing the same. Not every time. Not every time. We but, have, uh, we will sometimes, but we don't always dress a lot. Mama dressed us a lot when we were kids, right? Up until we were big girls, right? You know, right. Um, and it's just kind of sweet memories for us. It is. It is. We where we shop practical the same places and we like the same thing and that's basically the big reason that we still yeah. we dress a lot y'all know that we wear modest clothing um and there are not a lot of uh brands 
that fit us yeah. that are modest. Right. So uh, we we tend to shop at Dillard's and Bonnar, which we have to do that online. Mm -hmm. Yeah, carries some of the same brands. Yeah, a Blair or uh, that spinoff from Blair, they have some decent modest mm -hmm. clothing. But uh, like I, we had, I found a blouse yesterday that I really liked and Mary liked it. Yeah. And, but when I tried it on, it was too low for me, and I will not wear something yeah. that's too low. Yeah. A lot of the summer clothes are really low because I'm built different than right. Mary, and I, I have a really short torso. So, and Brenda, Brenda Clark, you uh, asked if the quick cooker it was the same. The quick cooker and the air fryer is two different appliances, so they're not the same. And Mary. When I opened that refrigerator while ago, and you said watch the cord, uh -huh. that's the old quick cooker that's uh -huh. on top of the refrigerator. That's what I like about the new one. It has an attachment yeah, to does. put the cord on there. I can very easily pull that whole yeah. thing off on right. because there's no place to right. put the cord. Mm -hmm. um, but anyway, but that's one of the, the improvements that they made right. that I really like. Right. And I love my cooker. And I, I do too. I like the old one. I, I do. I, I just, like I one. like the, yeah. I fact that the new one has a place in yeah. a few the new other, one has a lot of other other extra things on it too. Yeah. But the air fryer, I, I have the air fryer, I just haven't used it. And the biggest reason, like I said, is no space on the counter. Okay, okay so you're going to take it out. They, it. Ooh, those look great, Linda. They browned up. Good. Yeah, when you turn that air fryer on, uh, it browned them a lot quicker, didn't it? Yeah. And then, in fact, I think next time instead of doing you're not cooking the pineapple. You're, right. you're basically just getting a caramelization on it. So I think next time, instead of doing the uh, baking, baking, I would it. just do the air fryer. Yeah. And I would set it probably for 15 minutes, and it'll it'll uh, beat for you to turn it halfway through cooking. Yeah. So you do it three more minutes and. And it's probably going to, we're probably going to have enough caramelization oh, yeah. with a stock. Yeah. I we'll, so. um, I'll, I'll get this put up and, um, and yeah. I'll put that up. Then um, we'll put some tacos. Do you want to, uh, we're going to fill them over there. Put the meat in them over there and then set, set them over here. Did you them. want me to put the meat in there or you want to wait and uh, let me turn the camera and let you do it? You don't get that out first? Yeah, I want this out first. Okay, so we'd be cooking a I don't bit. want the, um, I don't want the, uh, well, it's going to have to cook a minute before we <laughs> take a bite. <laughs> I'm going to get a, I'm going to get us a plate and I'm okay. going to get um, a fork and I'm going to get, uh, you need a fork? Yeah, both of us have four. I'm going to get a paper plate over here. Do that since I've already messed that up. Um, so we leave. We're driving to... Mary, I'm, I'm totally in the camera. That's okay. I'm trying to man the camera. Um, we leave to go to Houston um, Saturday. We're going to spend the night down there so we don't have to rush going to Houston catching a flight the same day because our flight leaves at, what, 9.30, 9.40, something like that. So we're going to spend the night there by the airport uh, Saturday night, be on the plane Sunday morning. And we've heard all kinds of um, things about Puerto Rico that – you get good signals, the phone service works. If it does, we're planning on going live um, several times while we're there. And uh, it probably will be impromptu. It probably won't be a scheduled event. So you can always watch it on replay. But um, um, I am not an outdoors person. I, I, uh, I burn real easy. Uh, I will... I won't be the one sitting on the beach eight hours a day, I can tell you that. I'll probably be in and out and back in my room, and y'all may think that I, that's a boring person, but I have I have had some birds before, and I'm not going to risk it. Yeah. Now, we, we're going to do one tour. We are going to, to, uh, to on a tour one of the days that we're there to see some sights in Old San Juan, and um, I will be covered in sunscreen, and I'm going to try my best to make sure that the other three are too. <laughs> Because I know all these scars on my face, I know what the sun will do to you. Yeah. Um, 
and it's not pretty. And it, it might be fun while you've got a nice tan, but it's not fun when they start cutting on your face. Yeah. And, and that's not fun. I've been blessed that I haven't had it, but she was out in the sun a lot yeah, more. I was out in the sun with, uh, with yeah. the young people a lot yeah. in my earlier years. Um, okay, it's been All right. fun. All right. So let's uh, get these out. And um, let's see. Maybe I just want to put these on a plate. Okay. And then we can um, put put them on the okay. we'll the way from the camera again here. Yeah. <laughs> the girl, well, the girls are going to get I, us. I know. <laughs> I uh, well, I I I've got my mind on this camera, and I okay making sure that see they, they can see. Isn't that Isn't beautiful, beautiful, Linda? I can't wait to Ooh, taste yeah. it. We love pineapple and salads. We I absolutely love pineapple and salads. And we like it on pizza. And I know that's controversial subject. No, I like I love like pineapple on my pizza. I love pineapple on pizza. I'm going to have to set this on here. Cause okay. And this got a little bit more caramelization on it because it was in, in the top. And I don't even know if we're going to need those little sticks or not, because it's very tender, aren't they? Yep. Pineapple. Okay. So I'm just going to turn this off and um, move this, get it out of the way. And I'll get this out of the way too, Mary, if you'll okay. keep standing here talking. All right. Well, I'm going to... Um, move it out there to do the meat. I'm going to move the camera over here for the meat, because I think Linda's wanting to put the meat in the taco shells. Okay. I'm going All to right. move this. Get this out of the way. Yeah. You had this on low. It was still cooking. <laughs> I wanted it to stay hot. You to stay hot, yeah. Sure does smell good. Thank you. I'm going to take this some more stir and pour it. Oh, I didn't want to pour it back in the meat. Okay. It's most of the uh, liquid has cooked out of it. Okay. Mike, I noticed you were raking leaves. Is he outside right No, now? he ain't raking today. It's just oh, when I drove oh, up. Oh, yeah, yeah. He when I drove up, the there, he's got a few piles of leaves that he's raked up. And I've got to get onto that on my yard and get somebody on my yard doing that, too. Okay, so um, I won't, let me move the camera so I can see what you're doing. You're going to eat two, right? I'll eat one. So we're going to put a generous amount of meat on there. Um yeah, I like it's these little work. taco holders. You know, keep them from falling all over. Yeah, you all. I've seen those at uh, Hobby Lobby. Put tacos on your plate, and then they fall over, and the stuff mm -hmm. falls off. Okay, and then we're just gonna we're just gonna move them over. We're gonna turn this off, okay. and we're gonna move it over here. Okay, and um, put some pineapple on there. We got forks in that. Pretty. See, I right. probably got more meat on there than most people would put on a taco. But um, here, I'll move it. You just go ahead and go sit down, and I'll I'll get this where people can see it. Okay, so um, we have um, cheese, tomatoes, lettuce. And we have tacos. I'm gonna move this back a little pineapple. bit so you can see the see the tacos. And I guess that my little sticks here wasn't a wasn't a great idea because the way this is done, it's not it's not. Uh, well, that's great. Anyway, I'll just get the sticks out of the way. These would be cute. Did you want some more pineapple right here? Yeah, we can put some more on there. Just and we'll take a picture. Remember. Okay. Yeah, one of our sweet followers the other day reminded us to take a picture yesterday, and if she hadn't have, I would have not taken a picture. And I've got tongs, and I've got other stuff, but sometimes it is so hard to get all that stuff 
<laughs> I don't have near as much as my sister does, but I have a little bit. Okay, so you want to take a picture? Yeah, I'll take a picture. I have to be in it. That, um, well, we ain't got the tacos filled yet. No, we haven't. Um, we need to fill them also. So, okay. So, um, um, I love sweet tea with tacos, uh, Mexican food, but I didn't make any. First. Yeah, I think I'm going to put lettuce, lettuce in, in mine first. first. Okay. You can, you can fix yours however you want it, Harry. However you want to. And this is a bigger taco than you would get if you ordered one out. Absolutely. Because I've got a lot it's of meat full. in it. It's kind of hard to put lettuce on there with the spoon. Well, just stick it up with your hands. That's fine. That's not going to matter. Oh, I'm going to get salt and pepper, too. And, um, Mary, I've got some sour cream in there. Do you want no, some? no, 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 no. I don't need that. I don't I don't need sour cream, but I keep it for bacon. Yeah, I, I'm fine, Linda. That's a full taco. Did you want me to fix yours? Uh, the other one? Uh, yeah, let's fix them all three. Yeah. So, we, so for the picture. Oh, pick that in my hands. The cook gets to sample, right? <laughs> yeah. A lot of people don't like it, but I, I do. do. I do. I like it. Did you want cheese on yours? Yes, I do. I think the cheese probably a little salt. Yeah, because I've had it yeah. sitting out. I like cheese at room temperature if I'm eating it. Okay. It. All right. Now, if you want pico, I do have a little bit made in the refrigerator. You can put pico on it. Mary doesn't like onions, so. Um, I just put out some um, picante sauce and there's a little bit of taco sauce here. Maybe I didn't realize I didn't have much. I'm just okay. going to tidy this up a little bit. And take a picture? Yeah. So if you have an air fryer and you're intimidated by it, it's really not hard at all to work. Um, experiment. That's what we do. I've used mine many times. I love french fries in the basket. Have you made french fries in the basket? Mm -hmm. They are so good and they... The, the world of difference between a fresh sweet potato, I mean a fresh potato or sweet potato, I made into fries versus frozen, it's not even negotiable. I mean, fresh is always best. So, that was really pretty, Mary. Let's move this back here. Okay. okay. And I know that pineapple's going to be good. And the sherbet was good, right? Yes, I'm ready to taste. Okay, so we're going to get us a taste of it. A taco and a pineapple. Thank you, Linda. Thank you, and thank you, Jesus, for giving us the strength and the know-how and the means to make this <laughs> taco meal. Get us through another day. <laughs> Don't mm -hmm. let it make us sick. <laughs> oh, I'm going to taste this pineapple first. What do you think? It's delicious. You taste that honey. It's good. Very, very good. Isn't it good? It is. I can taste the cinnamon too, can you? I can. It's just just the right amount. Okay. Let's see if we can crunch it without breaking it all to pieces. Well, that's probably going to be impossible for me. Mmm. <laughs> you know what? That's exactly what I've been saying. I need that little, I need that little stand over here in my place. <laughs> Everybody does tacos different, just like mm -hmm. anything else. Yeah. I done broke it's, mine. It's yeah. a very simple meal. 
Kids like it because they can put what they want to mm -hmm. on it. They don't like tomatoes, they don't have to put tomatoes in it. I think I found this with kids, and I don't have any of my own, but I've worked and been around kids mm -hmm. all my life. If you get them involved in what you're doing, they are a lot more apt to eat it than if you just fixed it and set it That's on the true. table. Don't you think yeah, that? Yeah, I, I think that. I think that would be true. I sure do. Um, it just makes them feel a part of it, and they want to they yeah. eat it. So. Same thing if they were making a pizza. Get the toppings out there and let them try mm -hmm. and let them put what they want on it and then see if they made their pizza, they are probably yeah. going to eat it. Yeah, most kids like that pizza, though. They sure do. Well, then I think you did a great job. We need, thank you, we need a winner. Oh, that's right. We need an ounce of okay. winner for our sim. Um, Has Carla uh, texted us Carla, a winner? Let me see. See if I got a text from Carla. Oh, um, we've got a winner from Missouri. Kimmy Henrich Pierce. Kimmy K I M M Y. Congratulations to Kimmy. From Missouri. We need your address. Please do not put it in the comments. Direct message it to us or text it to us. 903 235 4804. Is that right? Uh, yes. 903-235-4804. We need your address, and if you can get that to us really quick, mm -hmm. then we can get it packaged up. We want to have everything out before we leave. Right. And that's right. So, so we've if, got to have it. We've got if have we it don't by get Friday. it, um, then it's going to be the middle of the month before. So, and birthdays. We need to get your birthdays. And birthdays. Uh, we won't do that drawing until we get back. Okay. Because we're we, April. To keep our regular routine, we let people, we wait until the entire month is over, until April is over, before we draw. So it'll be when we get back from Puerto Rico that we would draw for April's birthday. So the so, second week in May is yes. when we all announce yes. the April birthday right. winner. And um, um, I love, it was something I was going to tell them, and I Sorry. forgot what it was. That's okay. Um, anyway, thank y'all so much. Um, for joining us, and we hope that uh, now we won't be back tomorrow. No, we we won't be cooking tomorrow. Thank no, you very much. Um, we may go live Saturday, going to Houston. On the way to Houston, in the car, be all four of us, uh, Linda and little Linda and Carl and myself. We'll be headed to Houston, so we probably do a live in the car. And don't Saturday. worry, the the driver will only be <laughs> singing or whatever talking. They won't be working the camera or anything. We're no. very particular. Yeah. Uh, we don't try to go by and see Aunt Faye and him. Uh, yeah, I told him yesterday we probably would. Okay. So, so uh, go by and see them a minute. I've got a couple yeah. of things I'm going to take her. Yeah. And um, um, then we'll, so our next slide will be sometime Saturday, impromptu. Mm -hmm. And then we may go live Sunday morning at the airport. Yeah, yeah, we might. Yeah, we can do that. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to kind of carry y'all on the journey with us on our vacation. Yeah. So y'all can kind of know a little bit of what we're doing. So we love y'all. Count your blessings. Be kind to someone. Uh, it's in this world that we live in, we live in a world where people feel entitled God help me to never feel like I deserve something. No, that's true. It's, it's, I think it's very important stay to humble. stay humble mm -hmm. and to be thankful for what you have. Just like I said the other day, don't constantly be griping about what you don't have or wishing you had something. I think Shelly put something like this on her page the other day, Mary's granddaughter. Um, be thankful for what you've got. The, the Bible doesn't it say... Um, uh, I'm getting two things uh, together, but little as much when God is in it, and that's, that was a song, I think. But uh, the other thing is the talents that God gave to, to people. Mm -hmm. In the Bible, I don't know, I don't remember, this was a parable, I think. Uh, he gave everyone equal amount of talents, but some of them were afraid to use theirs mm -hmm. because they were afraid to, but... It's like anything else. The more you do or the more you're kind you lose to it others. <laughs> right. Use it or lose it. Yeah. Absolutely. So, um, I sound like I'm rambling, I guess, again. <laughs> but um, we're going to get off here so we can eat our taco with pineapple. We hope you have a wonderful day. Don't forget to be checking in on us because even though we will not create an event, we will be live from time to time over the next week. Right. 
Wow. We'll miss y'all. We love y'all. And we're going to do our best to carry y'all along with us on our, on our vacation. Okay. And that, for you members, there's apple fritters that's scheduled for tomorrow. We'll do them, those when we get back because we've just got too many things to do tomorrow. Yes. So I'll be making the apple fritters another day when we get back. And we'll get this pineapple recipe on our members page. And also we will get the ice cream mm -hmm. on the mm -hmm. uh, members page. And for those of you who don't know, oops, excuse me. For those of you who don't know, uh, we have a subscription service for our recipes. It's $5.99 a month plus whatever taxes in your area. Um, there's over 50 recipes, over uh, quite a bit more 50 recipes that's on our website. And we, um, we created this for the ones that want this service. Uh, you can watch us you all day long, you but can you can print recipes. these recipes, yes. yes. So uh, thank you again. We're going to get off of here, and we love y'all, and please uh, stay safe and stay well. Bye. Bye. about because that's like that you can't it won't do it